Hello and welcome back to DuckTales Remastered. We're in Transylvania now. Ah, there's not even October yet. <laughs> hmm. uh. Oh, hi Jacob, when did you get here? Since just now. <laughs> no, no, better yet, he was always here. He was just, didn't say anything. Ooh, creepy. That's, yes, that's my theory. But hey, it's that's just, just a, a theory. game theory. <laughs> ah, I was just about to bring that up. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Video games. <laughs> it's just a fifth gen theory. This is it, kids. Dracula Manor, home of the legendary Drake. Now, in the original, don't you go here like three times? Um, yeah, you go here like three times. Ah, uh, in in this version, you just go here this time and never again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You go to Tra you go to Transylvania like three times in the original Ducktales. You go here for the regular level. You go you go back to it in order to find the key to unlock uh, that to in order to actually get through to the African mines. And you go there for the f and you go there to fight Dracula Duck. Mm. And and I agree with Clement. I yeah I agree with Clement when he said he should he should have been called Quackula. Oh yeah, that, I'm surprised I like didn't do better. that. Yeah. Mine was funnier. Uh, yeah. He is right, isn't he, Uncle Scrooge? Clements is dumb. Uh, of course he is, Louis. What is now? Like, you just agree with Clement because he's Canadian as well. Just a lot of stupid so? Hocus pocus. <laughs> well, they kind of, they kind of did. You Canadians have to stick together, I guess, huh? Yeah. They kind of did something like uh, Quackula with uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day, where they had uh, Count Conkula. <laughs> <clears throat> oh hi, oh, oh, oh hi, Webby. Where did you get here? Going back a little because there's some treasure treasures back here. There always is. If you can go left, then go left. Yeah. It's not a lot though. But every little bit still counts, though. Yeah. Oh, 64. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't paying attention. When did Webby get here? Did she just show up? Um, I. No, I think she came with us. Now you boys stay put. And keep an eye on Wee Webigail. I'll be back with a treasure. Mm -hmm. Webigail? Oh, yes. Nuts. Yes. We want to come with you, Uncle Scrooge. You know, I, 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 I do think, I think Webby was also in the original game. I believe so. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, mm. I'm not sure that's as fast as you think it is. So Jacob, what 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 do you know? Like, how did you hear about DuckTales? I mean, the game. And, and actually, how did you hear about DuckTales in general? I mean, the game, the show, or whatever. How'd you hear about it? I knew of it when I was growing up. Hmm. I watched I it when much I was just... younger. Because, like, I love that theme song. Yeah. yeah. I think everyone does. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a person who doesn't love the theme song. I, I just pretty much saw DuckTales on one day and just... I thought Donald was going to be a part of it, which he is for some episodes, but not. He isn't the main focus. And then yeah, and then I just kind of started watching it. Oh, like again and again, I guess. But I, I mean, can't tell you anything about uh, Ducktales. I don't remember anything about it. Oh, mm. I just remember well, yeah. I watched it as a little kid. Mm. When I was I, yeah, I vaguely remember watching the show as a kid. But I knew I heard about the game from some guy called the Happy Video Game Nerd. <laughs> yes, and yes, it's supposed to be similar to the Angry Video Game Nerd, except he does underrated games rather oh. than doing bad games. And he did DuckTales for the NES. That's how I heard about the game. But the game, I don't remember where I heard of the game from. It would be cool if they packaged the original game with the remake. Yeah, that that would be nice. Like I, I think I think I remember around to, that, to promote the game, they were releasing like the original NES cart. They were releasing gold gold cartridges of the original NES game to promote the new one. Hmm. Yeah, don't quote me on that. I think that's what they did. But I, but I, but I do, I do know, I do know that there actually, there actually is a physical copy of DuckTales Remastered you can buy. Also, can we comment on how perfect the artwork is in this game? It's such, is it contrasts perfectly. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because I mean, I think I remember, I think I said something about like the character sprites being hand drawn. I think they're yeah. hand drawn while everything else is just 
made was just made in CG mm. animation, and, mm. and wow, and wow, the lighting here is actually pretty good. Yeah, the they they made it look like perfect for making the original game go HD, I guess. Yeah, they did. Because I mean, yeah, I I, I can kind of I can kind of see why like they didn't package the original game because for the most part, the level design is virtually identical. Yeah, but it would be a, it would be a nice bonus for like uh, I don't know be beating the game and having that like a sequel un unlockable. Yeah, because I, yeah. I mean like because because e even so for um because because when you listen to the old version when you listen to the a retro version of some of the newer songs they even made they even made artwork for it in the sound tests. Yeah, I I guess if they packaged the original game with this it would be kind of like New Game Plus in some of the Kirby games. I guess. This is like, this. These uh, aren't in the original, art, right? Like you, you fight the uh, three, three of these guys. Um, you would do in Louis. Oh, oh, or fighting, or fighting the ghosts. Um, no, I don't yeah. think so. I, oh yeah, the, I, yeah, 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 yeah now I remember. This would be the one. the three Beagle Boys we faced in the first level. Yeah. Yeah, 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 now, now, now I remember why Webby was was here. Because I mean, I think when you go to Transylv when you go to the Transylvania level, you do find Webby, and she tells you that Huey, Dewey, and Louie are some are locked somewhere in the level, and you have to find them. Mm. Huey, Dewey, and Louie's models are in this game are just adorable. Yeah, they are. You mean like a magic spell? Hi, lad. At least part of one. And once again, Jacob's not saying anything. Hello. You were live. Also, I went here later because I find I find this place to be quite difficult, in my opinion. I don't know. It's mainly the uh, boss fight that gives me the most trouble. Hmm. So I waited until I had a couple more hearts. Okay. I screwed myself over. Yep. Yeah, now you can't get to the top. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I would probably be in the same boat as you at this, at this point. Yeah, you see me trying to get up there, but you can't. No, uh, that's so painful. It's like in the first episode where I couldn't get that diamond. Yeah, there it was. I was like, even, even though the, uh, you only need uh, the the gems to unlock my like, artwork and all that. And they don't affect the ending. I, s you still want to go for them. Yeah. It's like, otherwise it doesn't feel duck like Ducktales anymore. Hmm. Yeah, cause, cause, cause that, cause that is definitely part of the, that's definitely part of the charm is that is just exploring or, or is just exploring every nook and cranny of the level to see if you can find more more diamonds. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, e yeah, so yeah, e yeah, even though there was a, even though there was a set goal, even though, even though you had a set location, how you got, how you got there was pretty much up to you, ha was pretty much up to you, so it had a bit of a Metroidvania type of vibe to it. Yeah, this game is also, um, wasn't the original game made by the Mega Man guys? Yeah, same, in yeah, it was, right. it was, it was, Capcom developed it, so. The it, Mega it, Man guys. Yeah, it, it used, the, it used the Mega Man engine. Yeah, because you can definitely tell with the whole, uh, the way the game is structured, and you can, how you can choose any level. Yeah, it it because the original was used used the used the Mega Man engine, yeah. and I and I and I believe Capcom's other Disney licensed games used used some engines from uh, from some of Capcom's other games at the time. The only one that I the only other one that I know that uses that uses a, that specifically uses a Mega Man engine was the, was Darkwing Duck on the NES. I still need to play that. I've heard it's really good. <clears throat> Bungle Boy. Of course, a secret passage. But yeah, from, yeah, but yeah, we were already mentioned. We already said this before. Like we already said this before. Way forward, Ray Ford wasn't originally planning on having the voice cast, but Disney's like, hold up. I was like, we got your back on that one. Yeah, and they they do an amazing, amazing job. Yeah, yeah, they got they got Alan Young and um, whoever Magic at the Spells voice actress was, and they were in their nineties when they recorded this. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's insane.
Yeah, they couldn't get all the original voice cast because some of them unfortunately passed away. Yeah. How how old is the show at this point, actually? Okay, yeah. hold on. I will I will actually look that up at this moment. Let's see. All right. Okay, the show. All right, the show. The the show started. The show premiered in 1987. Oh god. So it's almost 30 years old. Huh. Yeah. So. So okay. Yeah, the show's 27 years old at this point. It's like seven oh, years feel... older than I am. Uh. Yeah. Like. Okay. Like. Okay. I, all right. I'm calling it now. 2017. They're gonna release DuckTales 2 Remastered. I'm calling it now. <laughs> calling it now. DuckTales 2 Remastered will be released around the same time Duck the show originally premiered. <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be, that would be perfect. Hey, big chest. Yeah, you get up, get on that way forward, and you too, Capcom. Yeah. You better get on that. New Mega Man game, Capcom. That Cap too. <laughs> yeah, and Capcom's probably like, <laughs> no. I don't even care about Mega Man games. I just want to see them make a new one. I want to see, I want to see what they do. So, mm -hmm. I never played I'm, the Mega Man really games. What you've I'm never played really the Mega sure. Man games? I've played them. I don't like them. Oh. Um, I grew up watching the cartoon Mega Man. Uh, huh. Even though, Super like, they didn't. Mega Man. They didn't air, or they didn't like. They aired before I was born, but I watched uh. like reruns, and I had VHS tapes uh, of some Mega Mans. Ah. Uh. Kids today probably don't know what VHS tapes are. What the heck is a VHS tape? <sighs> yeah, what is this? Oh, like, you see, kids, back in the day, that that's some, how we watched movies. Is that some kind of chocolate bar? No. <laughs> I don't even like chocolate that much. <laughs> what? You don't like chocolate? I, well, I, it depends what it is. I don't, I like ch some chocolate, but I'm not crazy about it. Yeah. Like I don't know, my, my my sister doesn't like chocolate, but she she prefers white chocolate over Ew. regular chocolate. White chocolate is disgusting. How, what? I love white chocolate. White chocolate is gross. <laughs> this is, this no. is like, this like no, like no, like no, like no. Dark chocolate's gross. Dark chocolate is amazing. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? I love this. How? I love how? This. How can you like dark chocolate over white chocolate? The dark <laughs> is good. No, oh, it it doesn't. It I don't like dark chocolate at all. <laughs> I love this group. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think now I know what you're gonna call. What you're gonna name this part? What? Yeah, just, just, yeah, just name this part chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, In I'm, all just, caps. Yeah, just name it chocolate and make the thumbnail the chocolate guy from Sponge. <laughs> yeah. Chocolate guy fits from SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, but do the, it. The, the you know what the best um, chocolate I've ever had? I, I huh? Wait, wait, you go. Okay, but the, these are things here. I didn't know you had to hit the um, hit them on the side twice to get the treasure to pop up. Yeah, so, I think I remember you have to do it. You have to do yeah. that. I found that out after I recorded this. Uh, so you 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 probably must have been you probably must have been irritated. Yeah, I was. One more thing about chocolate. Okay. The best chocolate I've ever had, or the best people that make chocolate that I've had so far, is Kinder. So like a Kinder egg, oh, okay. whatever. Ah, too bad they don't sell them in the states yeah. anymore. Yeah, <laughs> too bad they never they don't sell them in the freaking states. I hate America. <laughs> also, Move, co come you know, to Canada. Speak, speaking of chocolate though, <laughs> I, speaking of chocolate though, I'm with Xavier. I I prefer white chocolate. And I I can't stand dark chocolate. <laughs> I've had one Kinder egg my entire life, and I actually bought it in America. But hmm. I think that was like a limited thing at this European market. So I and think that, I've yeah. had one before. It was okay. Yeah. Kinder eggs are amazing. I don't know. Yeah, I love that chocolate. I love Kinder eggs. Is awesome. Well, like, well, you know, the inside is white chocolate, right? Well, it's amazing. I don't care. Oh, so you only like white chocolate when it's in a Kinder egg? I see how it is. <laughs> when it's mixed with with real chocolate, it's good. <laughs> okay, you buy as much. <laughs> this, is, this escalated quickly. <laughs> White chocolate by itself is gross. I don't even no, know I love white chocolate. I don't even know anymore. And dark chocolate <laughs> is amazing. It's got that bitterness to it that just is awesome. 
Uh, that's, that's why that's the, the bitterness is why I don't like it. You just don't you don't know taste. No, you don't know taste. Canadians don't know taste. <laughs> we have maple syrup. Exactly. Maple syrup is better than table syrup because it's not natural. <laughs> You're just surrounded by snow so much you've lost your sense of taste. <laughs> you know what? Sh you, 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 you know, you know what? I had to shovel five centimeters of snow and my out, out, out of the driveway, so you know what? I'll take your word. Right don't now. use centimeters with me. I don't know that kind of. Learn the metric system. I don't know the metric system. Use two inches and feet. No, I use centimeters. <laughs> just like, just like, just like how I use, ju just like how I use, just like how I use Celsius to describe weather. Use inches, feet. Fahrenheit and miles. I'm just yeah. listening contently. <laughs> you too, Harry. <laughs> well, well, well. I, I, as far as I know, only the states uses Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I said you too, Harry, because he uses he probably uses Celsius. <laughs> I always use Celsius. Yep, Celsius is what I know. That's what I always do. Celsius is love. Celsius is life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know anymore. This commentary. <laughs> okay, what? All right, when we start doing movie commentaries, we need to do Shrek first. <laughs> you know the good yeah. thing about my phone is what? I could tell the weather or the the temperature outside in Fahrenheit and Celsius. It is hmm. 10 degrees Celsius apparently outside. Oh, that's not so, so bad. But oh, no, it's it not love and life. It's disqualified. Like, so apparently uh, it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit, but also 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, I don't know if that's like right, but like I I don't I don't think this minecart section was in the original game though. I think they made it just for this one. Oh hi, Mrs. Beakley. What are you doing here? Hello. I don't know who that is. I'm just Mrs. here. What are you doing here? I thought you might get hungry, Mr. McDuck, so I baked you a We need to do movie commentaries. Yeah, we do. Yeah. It just does go crazy like this. Hey, you're done! Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, an, it's a one-up. Looks like a fine oh, plushie. Yeah, I, I already mentioned that. It looks like a plushie. In, 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 buy it at your local Disney store today. <laughs> I, w I wish that plushie was real. I wouldn't get one of those. Yeah, I want one. I'm sure somebody like could it. Buy, uh, make it for you. <laughs> That's why I have a Ditto plushie. <laughs> Someone made a Ditto plush? Yeah, uh, an anime uh, convention. Someone oh, that's cool. a Ditto plushie. And a Trubbish. I, 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 that nobody likes. Oh, oh, you mean the one that's literally a trash can? Yep, trash bag. Yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah, trash bag. Yeah. The trash bag one. I, I had to get it because I know nobody else would get it. Because <laughs> nobody true. likes it. I love that's... I love Trubbish. It's adorable. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I said a trash bag is adorable. Yeah, People with it. I, I, so I don't get I don't get people that complain about the new Pokemon designs. As if the Gen One Pokemon designs weren't any different. <laughs> yeah, the all generations have weird Pokemon designs. So yeah. So I'm not a huge Pokemon fan, but people, people that are like that really need to calm down. Exactly. Yeah, Gen, yeah, Gen Oneers. Yeah, that's them. Yeah. The Gen Oneers need to calm down. I think it's really just like because of the iconic ones like Charizard, uh, Squirtle, and all those, and just yeah. being like, oh, no, no new Pokemon can live up to them. Gyarados sure is the best Pokemon. Ninja. Yeah. Oh, Jigglypuff. Ninja. <laughs> Jigglypuff. <laughs> I want a Jigglypuff plush so that way I could so that way I could put it next to my Kirby plush. Or Aww. just throw it at people. <laughs> that too. <laughs> just, yeah, just, yeah, just just throw it at people and instantly KO so. <laughs> or he'll roll out and then throw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would do that because I'm. <laughs> Back to the game, we're going to the yeah. boss. Wait, Gabe, we, we were talking about the game? <laughs> Wait, we're doing a commentary on a game? I thought we were just talking about stuff. <laughs> yeah, so we needed the uh, pieces of the paper to 
Open this mirror. Yeah, yeah, you didn't need to do that in the original. Oh, hi, Magic of Dispel. Magic of Dispel. Ugh, I should have known Magic of Dispel. Oh, yeah, seriously, yeah, well, I don't know. What kind of name is Dispel? <laughs> Imagine having a last name just Spell. It's a name that's definitely the spell -able. Yeah, that didn't come out like I was hoping. <laughs> oh. It, it is meant to be despicable, but uh, yeah, yeah, you didn't even get the joke because it was so bad. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, Matt, all right, Matt, Matt, yeah, Magicka Dispel is voiced by June Foray, and apparently she's, and she's 97 at this point. Huh. Whoa. Yeah, and and this she, and she was able, and she was able to voice Magicka no problem. But you can, but yeah, but it's definitely, you can definitely tell it, that some of the voices have aged. Yeah. yeah. Understandable, considering the age. That's crazy they got them back for this. Mm -hmm. I love how the music just stays silent in this. Yeah, because we're almost at the boss. And these ghosts are annoying to av avoid, I don't know why. I think it's because of that wavy pattern they move in. Yeah. It's cruising yeah. over, and I think they go down slowly. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it looks like th that one did. Yeah. Oh, he's going back. <laughs> so, wait, you, you, can't fling, you can't fling those blocks at them? No, they can't, the ghosts can't be killed. Oh. You have to evade them. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're ghosts. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm gonna die before I even get there. <laughs> I I wouldn't be surprised if you ed I wouldn't be surprised if you edited it out if you edited the boss fight so that way you have full health. Yeah. I wish they made had a cake there because for most levels have give you a cake before you go to a boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's usually the case. Yeah, most boss fights usually do give. Yep, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you only have one life at this point. Well, the, the zero. Zero counts as a life, so I have two chances. Okay, fair enough. I never understood games that ha counted zero as a life. Crash yeah. Bandicoot does that as well. It's, it's okay, confusing, because yeah. like, it's jarring playing a game that does that, and then going to a, to a game that doesn't. Yeah. It's uh, like, you've okay. only got one life, but not really, because you yeah. technically still have two lives. It's like, what? How is this boss fight in the original? Okay, yeah. Basically, like she she turns into her, she turns into the bird and she does that and she does that. That's basically what she does in the original. Uh, the, I I think this boss is the hardest in the game, to be honest. Yeah, because uh, Magica doesn't do any of this stuff in the in the original game. Yeah, it's harder than the final boss, which is kind of <laughs> funny. Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense because Magicka does summon the final boss. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, there, well, like, there, there, there's no way to like to tell how good you're doing because the bosses don't have their own health bar. Yeah, I think she has the most health out of all the bosses. Don't quote me on that though, but it feels that way. Because hmm. I mean, because I mean, even even if there is no health bar, at least do something to. At, at least do something to let the players know that to let the players know that they're slowly beating the health. Because I mean, because yeah. like yeah, even in even in some games like Fantasy Zone, the bosses change color depending on how much health they have. And even and it also happens in Waterland too, where they turn red when they're almost dead. Fantasy mm. Zone. I th That's a I weird think in game. I think in this game you just it's usually like three cycles, and mm. then you win. Well, looks like we won. Yep. <laughs> Magic Magic Dispel is actually in Donald Bandicoot. Oh really? No, oh, really. That's yeah. interesting. <laughs> Just gonna call it that. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, Jacob. We're ta we're talking about Donald Duck going quackers. Mm. Or if you're in the UK like me, then it's Quack Attack. Well, I I, I actually like that name better. Yeah, I do as well. <laughs> I actually, I, I'm probably gonna record it, record it for fifth gen at some point. Just you cause. Should. 
<laughs> yeah, because, I mean, if we're going to do licensed games, we need to do good ones. I think Cat Icarus did a video on that. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, yeah Cat Icarus did a video on that. Yo. Yeah, I, 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 yeah I, I, almost, I almost thought you said Kid Icarus, what <laughs> meant, but then you said, did a video, and I'm like, oh, you mean Cat Icarus. Yeah, yeah. Kid Icarus, he, he totally did a video on that. <laughs> Wait, we have a, like almost two minutes after this. I think I go to the vault. Oh, jump, I, jump hmm. to the money. Hold on, I'm looking at the video of it. No, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually do go into the money vault. Yay! And the this is where I show you saw. Money vault. Yeah. And you best can. <laughs> You can see the treasures back there as well. Yeah, that, that's that's cool. Woo! Hmm. Yeah, don't don't try this. It's in a real bunch life. of little solids that make one giant mass of solid. <laughs> yeah, that's not a liquid at all. <laughs> <laughs> and since since we're here, I show off the things you can buy. Yeah, yeah, you can you use your you use your money to buy extras. Yeah. One thing I'm not a big fan of is that to go, go down to different categories, you have to unlock enough things in the previous one to, to unlock the next. Hmm. So, like, I don't have music unlocked because I haven't got enough oh. things in the background paintings, so... Uh, that's... That I'm, sucks. I'm not sure how I feel about that design. Hmm. Yeah, I I I would kind of agree. Cuz like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I I do like all this bonus stuff. It cuz it lets you look at a bit of a behind the scenes. Yeah. So some, some of these pi art artwork pictures are actually in the credits. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah because kids believe it or not, all this stuff has to be done before the game actually gets made itself. Yes, we need you need art artwork otherwise you have nothing to work with. Yeah, yeah, you need you need to draw the characters, you need to make the backgrounds, all the physics and all that. Yeah. And the I parts over. See you in part 5. See ya.